when we are talking about the concentration of a solution, a lot of times the real world might use a, a mass percent, and a mass percent is really a part per hundred. Uh, you may have heard of part per million or part per billion. So that's kind of a common way of reporting maybe how much uh, arsenic is in the water. Uh, so a part per hundred is just a percent. Part per million, we take the part over the whole and we would multiply by a million. And a part per billion, we would still take the part over the whole and multiply by a billion. So for analytical purposes, water analysis, a lot of times those concentration units are used. But chemists, because we are interested in finding how many moles of something that we have for a chemical reaction, we're going to use the uh, unit of or the concentration of molarity. And we abbreviate molarity with a capital M. And notice molarity has the root word mole in there. Earlier, we looked at a, some different solutions of copper. This is a five molar, and when I turn it, so you can see that's kind of dark blue. So a five molar concentration is going to be more concentrated than a 0.1 molar solution. And since we're interested for a chemical reaction to occur, the water that has dissolved the solute, the water doesn't get involved in the reaction, only the compound that's dissolved in water. So we are going to figure out a way using this capital M to solve for moles. And it should make sense that the number of moles that are in a sample depends on how concentrated that sample is. So we're going to look at the definition of molarity. And that is molarity is the moles of the solute. So the example we've been using, if it was salt water, this would be how many moles of sodium chloride we had per liter of solution. And this really means for every one liter of solution. This is similar to the density. So remember, we looked at density back in chapter two. So density is mass over volume. And we could write this algebraically as D equals M divided by V, or we could solve for mass, and mass was density times volume. So molarity is very similar to density, except the numerator, instead of being mass, is moles. And the denot we can write that, this B is supposed to be over here, we could write this algebraically. So M is molarity, that equals moles per one liter. And we don't write the one there. And the symbols we could use, M equals N over V. In the gas law chapter, we saw that we would abbreviate N uh, moles with the uh, variable N. So this is going to look very similar to the definition of density. This is the algebraic definition. This is the algebraic definition of molarity. So molarity is always a ratio of the moles in the numerator, the volume in the denominator. The only difference here is the volume has to be in liters. So for example, we could use a six molar hydrochloric acid solution. So capital M means we would have six moles of HCl for every one liter of solution. Now we don't always use one liter. The most common thing that we're going to do is solve for moles. So what I've done is I've rewritten the algebraic definition here. And then to solve for N, we would multiply both sides of the equation by V. And then our volumes cancel. So N is equal to molarity times volume. 
So this is going to be our new way to find moles. So moles equals capital M times V, but we have to remember that the volume has to be in liters. In the next slide, we're going to do some examples. And what I suggest for students to do is every time we see this capital M written, M is really just an abbreviation. M always has two units in it. So uh, this should be over here. But uh, I'll put this example down here. So an example, 6 molar HCl means that we have 6. And instead of writing capital M, we're going to write moles per 1 liter. Of HCl. And then if we need to solve for moles, we see that we have that in the numerator. So this is kind of a lazy uh, variable. I really shouldn't say that. M is not a unit. M is another place that we have to remember where to write the mole. So capital M is just a shortcut for writing mole per liter.